Hi guys, it's Max from HighlandAndroid.com, where we get on Android every day. Anyway, today I'm going to show you how to root your Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. All right, before we begin, you'll need an international model of the Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. Again, you'll need an international model of Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. Again, you'll need a Galaxy S8 Plus or S8. <laughs> All right, sorry. You'll need an international version of S8 or S8 Plus. Did you get that? Okay, make sure you have international version of Galaxy S8, S8 Plus because the US versions have lock bootloader. If you want root, sell your US model, get the international version, works fine on AT&T and T-Mobile. If you want root on Verizon or Sprint, I would sell it, switch carriers, or buy an unlocked Pixel, which you can root just fine. With that out of the way, I don't want anybody leaving a comment. Does this root method work on my T-Mobile Max? Does this work on Verizon model? This root method does not work unless you have an international model how many times do i have to repeat that i just want to let you guys know that it only works on international exynos model second of all you will lose samsung pay all right you will never ever be able to use samsung pay again all right most of these international models actually don't have samsung pay like the one i got this is like a chinese model i don't think they even use samsung pay in china it's a it's a taiwanese model i don't see samsung pay on it so it really doesn't matter if you have a model that doesn't support samsung pay you don't have to worry about it but if you have like a korean model that has samsung pay you will lose samsung pay forever however the good news is that we will be using magisk root method which will allow us to hide root, so you'll be able to use Android Pay instead. Just no MFC, magnetic, invisible, Samsung Pay. No more. Nada. Zip. Muerto. Samsung Pay. Muerto. I think Samsung Pay died. Alright, <laughs> we got that out of the way. Third, make sure make a backup. Alright, I don't care. This root method does not erase anything, but if you've never rooted your phone before, the chances are you're gonna mess up something and you're gonna blame me for it. So make a backup so you don't have to blame me. All right, with the basics covered, let's go ahead and root our Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. Let's go do this, baby. So the first thing you wanna do is go into settings, all right, and go into about phone and make sure the model number is supported. Uh, my model is, number is SMG950FD. This is international dual SIM. Make a note of it and we will check it later if it's supported. It is supported by the way. Um, and then go into software information and go ahead and hit the build number a bunch of times until the, it says developer mode has been turned on. All right. And then hit the back button twice and you'll be able to scroll down to developer options. Going to developer options, all right, very important, make sure OEM unlock is checked on just like this. All right, if it's not on, make sure it's on. You may have a model that does not have this menu, then you can st skip this step. All right, before we go any further, you will also need a micro SD card. All right, so make sure you have a micro SD card. So I have a Samsung micro SD card in here. And we're gonna go ahead and connect it to the computer all right, transfer some files over. All right, make sure you allow access to phone data. Hit data, hit OK. Next, you'll need a Windows computer. That's right, get a Windows computer, go borrow it from your friend, go dig up your $200 netbook you bought five years ago. I don't care, just use a Windows computer. It's so much simpler. Don't try to use VMware or anything. I used to do that, but I don't really recommend it. You just run into more headaches. Um, go to galaxysa.root.com. It has all the files you need. Go to the tools menu, go to twerp. All right, go ahead and download um, twerp recovery for your model of S8 or S8 Plus. And here lists all the models supported at this moment. Um, I will update this page if there's more models supported. If your model is not listed here, do not try to root. I will not respond be responsible um, if you mess up your phone. Next, go to Root Tools, and you're gonna go ahead and download Magisk V12. This is what will root your phone, and you'll also be able to use Android Pay, Hide Root, all that good stuff, and also download Samsung Entire Removable Kit. All right, that's three files so far. Go to Odin and Driver, also download Odin and Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus drivers. All right, once you have downloaded all these files, you'll see you have Tor Recovery for the S8, and you have a Samsung anti-removal zip file, 
also the exe file odin and majisk all right go ahead and unzip odin 3 blah blah dot exe just go ahead and click on extract all files that will give you a directory called odin 3 uh, blah blah with the odin <sighs> Odin 3 program. All right, next, what you want to do is um, go ahead and copy over, very important, Samsung Anti-Removal Kit and Magisk blah blah dot zip. Go ahead and copy these two files into your Galaxy S8 SD card. That's right, not to the phone, to the SD card. So I'm going to go ahead and paste it here. And I've actually already, already copied it. So you should have these two files in the micro SD card. All right, very, very important. And next, we're going to go back to our phone. We're going to go ahead and power off the phone. What you're going to do is hit volume down, big speed button, and the power, like that. Volume down, big speed, all of them together. Volume down, big speed, and then you're going to hit the power button. Hold it down for two seconds until you see a warning screen like this. Go ahead and hit volume up key. All right, it should say downloading. And go ahead and connect a USB cable from your phone to your computer, back to your computer. Let's go back to your computer, go into your downloads folder, go into the Odin directory. Go ahead and double click on odin3.exe. And this will bring you Odin 3 program that will allow you to flash torp recovery. You should see a blue highlighted box like this. If you don't see this, you don't have the proper drivers installed. Um, go back to your downloads folder, go ahead and double click on the Samsung USB driver.exe run that program. Once it's done, um, you should see this blue highlighted box. If you don't see that, try plugging in your phone to another USB port. Also, don't use a USB hub and also try rebooting your phone. All right, once you see this, you're ready to go. Next, we're going to go ahead and choose AP and we're going to go ahead and choose the Torp recovery file in the downloads folder. Um, this is for the S8. This is for the S8 Plus. Obviously, I have an S8, so I'm going to choose that. Hit open. Uh, and this is very important. Once it flashes, your screen will go off and reboot. As soon as that's done, uh, we're going to hold down volume up, big speed, and the power. All right, so hit start. And as soon as the screen goes off, we're going to hold down these three keys. Volume up, big speed, and power. Hold it for another, like, one, two seconds. Let go, and you should be in twerp recovery. All right, we don't need our computer anymore. Really simple here. Go ahead and swipe to allow modifications. Go to install. Go ahead and select storage as micro SD card. Hit OK. And go ahead and choose Majisk. Choose add more zips. Choose Samsung anti-removal kit. Confirm to flash. And this should give you full root. And once we re reboot it, that's pretty much it. And if you follow all the steps, you should be good to go. And if you mess up, these steps um, you can always repeat it and uh, go ahead and read my written tutorial I'll put some FAQ down there also in case you missed it um, go ahead and take a look at that if you mess up all right when that's done reboot system also do not install you don't need it so do not install the twerp app and give it you know give it a uh, give it some time let it reboot and we'll check on it my, my phone has rebooted and let's see if I have roots. I have Majisk Manager. I'm going to go ahead and download a Titanium Backup app. All right. And let's go ahead and verify if we have full roots. And you can go ahead and open up Majisk Manager. All right. It says to update. Just go ahead and update the Majisk Manager. All right. Go ahead and open Majisk Manager. Hit allow. And you should see properly rooted. You're good to go. And let's go ahead and open up Titanium Backup app. And if you see a super user request, boom shakalaka. You are fully rooted. All right. Now, if you want to run uh, apps that block roots, most of Nintendo programs, including Pokemon Go, uh, Super Mario Run, they all require unrooted phone, but you can hide root. And that is why I made you install the Majisk root. So go into Majisk Manager and do a tap to safety net and you will see that it failed, all right? Go ahead and tap on the menu, go into settings, turn on a Majisk hide and also enable BusyBox. All right, now if you do this, it should pass, which means now you'll be able to run all of the rooted apps that check for safety net 
uh, including Android Pay should work out of the box, which is really nice. All right, I haven't set it up, um, but it will work just fine. And also we can go ahead and demonstrate with the Pokemon Go. Okay, let's see if Pokemon Go works. It should work just fine because we passed safety net. And boom shakalaka. As you can see, Pokemon Go works. Android Pay works. Now you should be able to enjoy Root and also High Root with Smith's Root. That's how you root your Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. And thanks guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, root it your phone using my method. Don't forget to thumbs up. Share it with your buddies, of your mistress, your wife, your daughter, your daughter's new kid, your grandkids, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys soon. Stay <laughs> on Android. Why is it so dark in here? What's wrong with my camera? Oh, I have my glasses on. Click here to subscribe.